Hey everybody, so this is um, this is going to be a little bit of a look at now that I have gone to Linux. Um, I've had lots of people asking me about um, what's the move from Mac to Linux been like in terms of uh, installing other apps and just living in the Linux side and I just wanted to share um, something, uh, a, a tool that I found that I use all the time and I think is worth spreading and I don't usually do anything um, besides my goodies section that's outside of flame um, or not applicable to flame but I really thought this was worth sharing so um, I use this um, little cool package here um, which is through this I'll provide a link in YouTube and it's called appimage.org and if any of you guys have ever tried to install <laughs> um, an app on Linux especially on an Autodesk uh, Linux box uh, it can be a pain um, lots of things don't work and you also risk um, overriding libraries that Flame um, relies on to work. Um, to be completely honest, during my install of Linux, I screwed up the system I think four times um, just by trying to install other things such as, you know, screen recorders and, uh, you know, uh, I think I installed Blender and some other, some other programs. So um, I'm actually using this method um, right now um, using Simple Screen Recorder, um, which is what I do my tutorials with. So again, it's super easy. Literally, you download, um, you know, the the uh, the way it works to to dumb it down really quick is um, again, um, if you want to download any other app, um, if it's outside of Yarm Safe, it was um, on this website. They give a good example of VLC. You have to go to a bunch of different repositories and hunt down different codecs and look for dependencies. Whereas using this um, this app image um, container, I guess it is, it's literally the equivalent of downloading the whole package. It doesn't matter, um, you know, what other dependencies it has. It, it's all included in that app image uh, container, which is great. So you don't have to hunt anything. And the best bit is, you know, it's not going to mess with any of your Flame uh, install, um, which is super handy, um, specifically for me. So. Like I said, I use it for Blender, um, I'm using it for this. Um, once you get this going, I'll show you how easy it is to, to install one. So, um, you know, just done a new shell. Um, say uh, this cool open source, uh, I guess Photoshop Illustrator kind of replacement, Krita is one of those guys. I'm just gonna drag it into terminal, paste location, and just hit enter. You see it's gonna launch, and again, I've had to, installing this was just easy, there's no problems, and yeah, it just works, so. Um, this has already been enabled though, so there is, you know, if you are going to install an app for the first time, you have to do two little easy commands, and I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So I'm just going to, again, if you're on the app image guy and you want to try it out, you just click on this um, this little guy here, and it's going to take you to this guy. And I've just got this guy here, and I'm going to go to files, and I'm going to choose this, which is latest Atom download. So I'm just going to click on that and we'll save that and again um, the whole fact that this is all packaged in and again you know the the veteran Linux guy might say big deal so what but for me the the most interesting thing that could happen with this is being on Linux now and getting used to it you know I'm very much liking it especially with the addition of this but um, who's to say in the future um, how cool it would be if you know, we weren't locked into CentOS, you know, what if we could install Ubuntu or, um, you know, Linux Mint and just download an app image of Flame. I mean, I'm, I'm sure there's probably technical reasons that I hopefully, you know, you guys can leave me a note in the comments if you do know why, um, even if someone from Autodesk is watching, but I really like the idea of this, of not being locked to, um, you know, a a pretty stale version of Linux, which is CentOS in my opinion. Um, not that I don't like it, but you know, there's easier, more user-friendly versions of Linux and you know, it'll help get it to other people personally, in my opinion. So end of that rant, I'm just going to open this guy up and you see he's downloaded here and we have to just enable it first. So on the original app image page, you see in this little now what section, we have to give it uh, read write permissions. So I'm just going to do a new console and this is only the first time you download it you have to do this so it's you know it's not too painful to start with so I'm just gonna copy that and then paste that it's gonna add a space with the spacebar 
and just paste the path in so paste location hit enter and then literally to run it we just drop it in paste enter and it'll ask you should you create a desktop file for it I'm just gonna say no for this but you can if you want again it doesn't screw with anything and you see Adam's been downloaded and installed it hasn't we haven't had to download the any, any additional libraries it's super simple and again um, if you have heard of this and are using it you know why didn't you tell me earlier um, but if you haven't please share this because the more the more developers know about this um, the more people will make packages of this and like I said there's several besides those um, you know this critter one there's you know some simple movie editors there's blender and again there's simple screen recorder which is the great um, screen recording software I use as well so again this is a little outside of the area I usually do but um, I just thought I'd answer some questions I had about uh, running Linux now so that's it for this one guys uh, see you next time